to get from here from San Juan is like two and a half hours mm -hmm. from different areas. It's up in the mountains. And so we are yeah. turning right now to Vilella, Mirasol, Rio Prieto, Mirasol Adentro, Calvache, Bartolo, Castaner. But we also, because we are in an area that we border like three towns. We are in Lares, but we are bordered in with uh, John Maricao, Yauco, and Atunta, three different towns. And we have those communities that are in the borderline of both municipalities, and for them it's easier to come to Bartolo or to Castaner to receive service instead of going to the town. That's why this area particularly is very neat because the distance you know, for those people who live around here. The heart of the community is the school. And when you get, um, when you close the school of the community, you strangulating uh, mm -hmm. their community and you are uh, to take out their soul. And this school was closed by the government in 2015. It was around in some way. And a lot of people from the community was seen that this, this way could be a good way for a community service at this moment of crisis. But that reason that they want to be open their, their school, their people in the back is like, wow, oh, yeah, this is the guy. Beautiful, and then I start to work in, and then the guys from the barrio that is close to here, these the other people come to me and come to get this, and then like, uh, identify yourself with this necessity to open the school for bring some uh, some hope to everybody. Solar project is gonna be. The, is going to energize the housing project that is going to serve 14 families plus this uh, communal area that is going to be a community kitchen and from this kitchen we're going to open like a community bakery and that's going to mean that a lot of the young people around here they can come and do some work and make some money from this kitchen as a living and also, we're going to start a theater cafe that is going to be the first solar theater cafe in Puerto Rico. Really? That is going to be open <laughs> next month because we was we already had a plan to open a theater cafe. And when Food Energia came, it, at the beginning, he was only installing this building. But when we was talking about we had that idea to open the theater cafe, but and he surprised us surprised us and when they come for the installation they say no we also have a solar panel for the theater cafe mm -hmm. and I've been so excited telling to everybody that we're gonna have the first theater solar theater cafe in Puerto Rico <laughs>